What's good, guys? We're back at it again with another video. I just see from the title today we have a Mikey Williams saying your seed draw. I'm thinking I'm saying that right. Let me know in the comments if I'm saying it wrong. Breakdown. As we all know, with Mikey Williams, this is a 6'2. Got him listed as a shooting guard, but he has started to play point guard and also work on, you know, his point guard skills as of late. Obviously, out of California, Mikey Williams currently the number 21 player in the class of 2023. And you know with Mikey, I've said before, we've done a couple breakdowns on him. I've said like over the last two to three years, this has been the most polarizing. Like if you want to talk about amateur sports, high school basketball, Mikey Williams is part of that top, you know, five names. Not in terms of, of course, you know, how good that player is, but in terms of notoriety, people who know him. Mikey's in that top five high school basketball players in the last couple of years because this man has done deals with 2K. He's done deals with I don't know how many brands, like almost everyone knows him. What I've said before, what comes with that is, you know, the hate, right? So even though you see Mikey's face everywhere, everyone knows him. You also see all the TikToks saying he's overrated, ever all the tweets saying he's overrated, saying, oh, how long has he been playing high school basketball? We've talked about it before. It comes with it. You know, I've always been a person. I've said in all my breakdowns, of course, because of the hype, all the attention around Mikey, Everyone kind of said that, you know, he was the second coming. He's this, this, and that. I've watched the film. We've done the breakdowns. Go check it. I've said, like, you know, he might not be, you know, the second coming X, Y, Z, but no, this still is a really good basketball player. This still is a high major basketball player. It's just going to be up to him to see how good he can get, how high he can get to, but I'm not going to hold you guys up any longer. Obviously, he just transferred back to his old high school. The comp might not be great in this, but again, we check and see how he's getting to his spots. If he's making his shots, let's get into it. Mikey Williams. Great job here on the defensive end. Mikey Williams is a player that has always been extremely tough to stop in transition. Once he's going downhill, good luck. Again, his defensive intensity caused a turnover. And as we all know, if you give Mikey time and space on the perimeter, he can knock it down. He's an explosive athlete that attacks the rim at will, playing with a certain level of intensity, but he also understands the importance of playing with pace and changing speeds, knowing that it can get him open looks. Mikey's perimeter jumper is a part of his game that he's been looking to improve with some level of consistency. At this point, though, if you go under his ball screens, it looks like he has no problem pulling up and knocking it down. I want you guys to take note of how he knifes through the defense, getting to where he wants to on the floor. This is great touch on the off-balance shot. Even on this next possession, I know he's being guarded by a smaller player, but watch how he uses his footwork and the defender's excitement to his advantage. Again, Mikey's three is something that has definitely shown improvement, whether it be the deep one on this possession or on the next one, a three with the defender all into his space. When Mikey's knocking down this shot consistently, his game goes to the next level. Though it wasn't shown much in this game, Mikey has shown the ability to make reads out of pick and rolls in the last couple of months. We've all seen this before, Mikey Williams. Okay, so Mikey Williams, right? Like I said in the intro, the comp in these games aren't the greatest. And I've seen Instagram comments because right after he transferred back and then right after he just played in this little tournament with his old high school team, I instantly started to see the comments all over the internet. Like I just said, Instagram, Twitter. Oh, he's not playing anybody. Oh, he, you know, oh, like he's just, you know what I'm saying? He's just stat padding. Why isn't he playing AAU? Why isn't he doing this, this, and that? You know, iron sharpens iron. He's not getting any better playing against the talent, you know, that he's playing against. And there is some truth to that, right? So when I was first, you know, looking into, okay, who's playing where, who's playing with what teams, and I noticed Mikey wasn't playing with the on a circuit, right? So I was kind of confused, like, okay, why is he not playing almost everyone else in his class, especially the players that are ranked, are playing in some type of circuit or AAU in general. And then I see, okay, he played with Mellow Ball's team. I'm like, okay, at least he's getting some run in. Then I see, okay, it looks like he's playing summer league here. And I already knew, of course, you know, when a five-star talent, when they're playing against most high school basketball players, the competition isn't going to be great. Here, it's looking like the competition might not be, it might be a little worse than that in terms of, you know, size, athleticism. But, you know, in our breakdowns and my breakdowns, I'm not only looking at, okay, who are you playing? I'm also looking at, can you get to your spots? And I'll tell you a secret. I don't care who, who you're playing against, who you're guarding, whatever. Shooting the ball, being able to make shots. I'm not talking about dunks. I'm not talking about layups. Making a shot, 
that happens regardless of who's in front of you. If making, being able to make a shot is a skill, regardless of who's in front of you. So if you can continue to make deep threes, I don't care if you have someone who's five, you know, five one, five two, or someone six five. If I'm shooting it from half, that's the same skill level. But let's just jump into his game, right? With Mikey offensively, I already knew as I was turning it on. I'm not gonna put too much into the the dunks, the you know what I'm saying, the he might finish through over somebody. I'm not gonna put too much into that part of the game simply because I understand who you're the bigs you're playing right now are not gonna be the bigs you're gonna be playing once you get to college. If you want to go to college or if you decide to make that next step, that's not gonna be who you're gonna be going against. And we know the type of explosive athlete, you know, I've always been the type of person I didn't I wouldn't say Mikey is bouncy, like you know what I'm saying, like float, like Derrick Jones Jr., like some like some float bounce, he's more explosive on some Cole Anthony type of thing, right? So I wasn't going to put much into the, okay, he's dunking on a kid that's 5A, like, all right, he's Mikey, he does that. We've seen those clips. I'm looking at other parts of his game. Granted, though, we will talk about it a little bit. He's always been like this. Once he gets in transition, once he's going downhill because of his size, because of his build, because he is so explosive, he's extremely hard to stop once he's going downhill. So especially in these games, it's going to be easy. You saw once he gets on the wing, all he has to do is rip once, take one dribble when he's on the rim. It's easier against some of these players, but again, that's always been a staple of his game. We've seen him attack the rim, not only against players like this, but also against, you know, the five stars, the players that have the offers that are ranked at all that, you know, all the extra. So I wouldn't just throw all of the finishing that he did in this game to the side because he has shown that he... Him attacking the paint, him attacking in transition is a staple of his game. He's done it against the five stars as well. But one of the things that I was definitely focused on in this game, like I said, was is he getting to his spots? Is he getting there and is he knocking down those shots? Because like I also said, it doesn't matter. These aren't layups. These aren't dunks. Jump shots, you still have to make the shots regardless of who's guarding you. It's still a jump shot. You still have to make it. You still have to have had been in the gym working on it for it to go in. So I'm definitely looking at that. But one of the things that I noticed as you can tell, he has been working on it. Like, there is no hesitation at this point. If he comes off a ball screen and you decide to go under, because with Mikey, we've done the breakdowns. I've always been a person, I never call him a shooter. He's a shot maker, right? So there's a difference. A shooter is more, you think of more of a J.J. Reddick, a Kyle Korver, someone who's going to run off screens, pin downs, fly off, get their feet set straight up, straight down, knock it down, right? Shot maker, think more of a Nick Young. Think more of a, a Luka, right? So Luka isn't considered a, a shooter, isn't considered like a like a knockdown, like he's a shooter, shooter, but he will take the step backs. He will take the all the shots with your hand right here, and he will knock those down because he is a shot maker. Mikey's more of a shot maker, but one thing I saw in this game specifically is that he was knocking down shots at a consistent clip. Like I just said, you, he comes off that pick and roll. You aren't there. You go under. He's knocking that down. The defender was right under him, which are some of the toughest shots to take when the defender is right underneath you. He's still raising up, able to knock it down. Obviously, when he's wide open, he's always had the ability to knock that down. But just being able to see like, okay, regardless of what outside noise has been saying, it's obvious to me, he's been in the gym. He's been working on his shot. Just talking about the pace a little bit, right? With the ball in his hands, he's not going one speed, especially in this type of game. When you're the type of athlete that he is, he could easily go 100 miles an hour just back and forth, just back and forth. Because in this type of game, there aren't there weren't many players on the court that can keep up with him if he decides just to go coast to coast. But instead, you saw him in transition. Okay, let me play methodical, play at my own speed, which allows me to slow down and just Euro get this easy layup. Or, okay, I can come off a pick and roll, take my time, just get to my spot on the floor and just kiss it right off the glass with some great touch. Like, it's great to see just even without all the outside noise you hear, you hear all the extra, I'm seeing him play the game the right way still. He's picking his spots. Yeah, it's still Mikey. He's going to take the step backs. He's going to try some crazy dunk. But I'm still watching him play the game the right way. And a part of his game that I that I saw, you know, in some of the earlier breakdowns that I didn't see much of in this specific game was his passing ability, right? Granted, it might have been that in those past breakdowns, I think those were in AAU or when he was on some teams where he had some other, you know, ranked players. So, of course, you know, some of those passes are probably more highlighted with those type of players on your team. But you still saw he come off the pick and roll, make the left hand bounce pass just off the dribble. Those are actually difficult passes. He's always showed, you know, that he can make those reads. And I've said it before because he is a little bit on the shorter side. He is 6'2". The level that he wants to play at, he's not going to be able to be a two. He's going to have to be able to be a point guard. So for him to continue to work on playing with pace, understanding how to get his teammates involved, while also understanding himself 
how to pick his own spots, understanding when to score, and really just in general, just not letting all that, like I've, I've said it before, but with him, it's huge. Like with him, it applies more than, I think more than any other high school basketball player there, there is right now is that outside noise. Because I haven't seen a player get this much hate before they even got to college. Like I haven't seen, I don't think I've ever seen a player get this much consistent. I'm talking about from kids, adults, everybody in between. I've never seen, I don't think I've ever seen this much consistent hate on one specific player. And it's not like he's actually bad. If you would actually sit down and come watch the film, like he can hoop, he can hoop. Currently ranked number 21 in the class of 2023. Again, we are going to be coming with that with that top 10 pretty soon. We might actually extend it to 25. I saw a comment, you know, when you guys wanted it, one of that uh, top 10 extended, let me know. Also, let me know what players you guys want me to see before I actually make that top 10 because I don't want to miss out on anybody like I did with 2022. Again, with Mikey, sky's the limit. We just going to have to see if he's willing to put that work in where he wants to take this. Like, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Remember, if you want the one-on-one -on -one evaluations, the breakdowns that go on the channel like these. Uh, hit the website in my description. Like I always say, appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you guys next time with the next video.